Hello everyone, welcome back to another Blue Archive character review. This video is going to be going over the current banner character, which is Haruna. I'm going to be using Dolly Khan's Blue Archive site to help with translations, we'll link in the description. So, quick disclaimer, a lot of what I say here is just going to apply for PvP arena mode. I'll try to mention a bit about PvE stuff, but most of this video, in terms of unit synergies, what counters Haruna, and all that jazz will just be very heavily focused on PvP. So first off, Haruna's position is an attacker in the back. She's a sniper. She has a very low attack interval, but she does a lot of damage. So she is going to be a main DPSer for sure, 100%. You want to try to keep her alive and keep her auto-attacking. Her armor is heavy armor, and this is really good. It's good it's not light armor, because in PvP there's a lot of Hibiki, she's everywhere, so not being weak to Hibiki is just great. And now if we get onto her skills, we can ignore all this stuff honestly, but getting onto her skills, um, her EX skill really just does a buttload of damage. It does do it in a straight line, so in terms of story PvE content, you could kind of use it for wave clear, but in the arena, just think of this as like a single target ability, unless you get hella lucky. Um, and then her basic skill is okay. It's kind of a worse version of Yori's basic skill. Her passive skill is also okay. Increasing HP is not the worst thing in the world because of Hibiki and hair just sniping your back lines. However, it would have been nice if this was like a crit rate up or something. And then lastly, her sub skill is really good. It increases attack by 10% while not moving. This, she's never moving while shooting, so it doesn't really matter, this like part of while not moving. It's just going to increase attack by 10%. So I would recommend leveling the sub skill first, and then between the basic and passive skill, I would probably go basic skill second, then passive skill. But for sure, try to like invest everything in the sub skill. And then the EX skill it uses different materials here, but just try to get as high as possible. Let's jump in game, talk about some unit compositions, unit synergies, and counters, and we'll end the video with some PvP gameplay with my Haruna team. Okay, so I wanted to go over which units pair well with Haruna. Um, so in my opinion, Haruna pairs really good, in fact best, with a double tank lineup on offense. I usually use Yuka and Tsubaki for my double tank, though other double tank compositions would work. The reason I kind of like having double tank is that it effectively allows Haruna to live longer because the enemy is hitting your tanks and not your Haruna. And Haruna does enough damage, you just gotta keep her alive to do that damage. So the second DPS I'll pair her with, I, I like to look for something with a low cost ult so I can cycle through more consistently. I use Yori personally. Sumire would also be great, I don't have her unfortunately. But Yori's really good, and then the other unit I'll sometimes use, if the enemy's countering me with Emmy, is uh, actually Serica. The Serica also has a very low cost EX skill, so she can cycle through and we can eventually get that Haruna EX skill. Because the goal of the lineup is to try to cycle through, get the Haruna EX skill, and one shot the enemy Tsubaki. And now, speaking about counters kind of units to look out for when you're using Haruna is gonna be the main one's gonna be Nonomi. Nonomi sits in the very back lines and eventually Nonomi's gonna use her EX skill and kill your Haruna. This will one-shot Haruna. So Nonomi is very scary. Um two other units that are surprisingly good is a, a Haruka here and also Hoshino. And the reason they're good, it's not like they, it's like because they resist her, no. The reason they're good is because how you use Haruna is you're gonna have Haruna targeting the enemy Tsubaki. But what happens with Haruka's ult is that she will draw aggro away from Tsubaki because Haruka will like, uh, she'll use her EX skill, she'll go towards the front lines and then what's gonna happen is your Haruna is gonna target uh, Haruka instead of Tsubaki, so... Shotgun tanks, in general, are actually a pretty good counter to Haruna on defense. In terms of specials, there's not much to go over here. I guess the main thing I want to make clear is that she's not too awful against Hibiki. Uh, she doesn't, uh, she's not weak against uh, explosive damage, so it's not like Aru. 
where Hibiki would just one-shot an Aru or Nonomi. Um, she won't get one shot it by Hibiki. Okay, um, I'm going to show you my PvP lineup that I'm using. Alright, so here's the PvP team I usually use when going on the offense. And this team is heavily built around Haruna as well as Yori. Um, and Yori can also be replaced by Sumire. Now I do like running the double tank as I explained earlier. I think it just keeps the DPS's alive longer. And then for supports, I usually do the double accuracy buffing. It's most consistent. Sometimes I'll use hair just to make my tanks uh, evade more. And now if they're having an Emmy on the team, which some people like to run Emmy, which is the red tank, then I replace Yori with my three star Serica. Though Shiroka would also work. Serica's a bit better. Um, and Serica will totally counter that tank for you. Now the main counter to this team is going to be Nonomi. If you see Nonomi, you just can't really deal with it. Nonomi will just one-shot the Haruna and Yori. The way to counter Nonomi would be to either have a Hibiki or an Aru, and I don't have either of those units, so I just try to avoid Nonomi teams. Anyways, let's get to the battle um, arena and hopefully get some good battles in for Showcase. Okay, so in the battle arena, looks like we're rank 13. Should be able to climb to the top 10 in this video, hopefully. The rank 11 guy definitely won't challenge him, has a Nonomi. Can't really deal with it. We'll just challenge rank 9. Hopefully he doesn't have a Nonomi hidden there somewhere. Uh, I'll put everything in the middle. What did he have? I forgot what he had. He had a Hina showing. Yeah, we'll do that. So now uh, my uh, Yuka should hit his heat, is my idea. We'll see how it looks. I believe that unit's name is Hina. Okay, yeah, Yuka is around that vicinity hitting the Hina. And it looks like Haruna is hitting the Tsubaki, so this, this should be an easy battle. So Yori, burst them down. We don't have the Hasuna EX skill anytime soon, which is unfortunate, but uh, it's more unfortunate for showcase purposes. But you see this double tank really doing work at keeping the DPSs alive. We are even out-leveled here, but it doesn't matter because we're just living longer and able to get more shots in. But there's the Hasuna ult. It does like over 50% damage. I only have it at level 1 as well, so you can imagine that just one tapping Subaki often so she can't get emergency heal out. So nice. So we'll try to do another battle. Hopefully we get the Hasuna EX skill earlier. Let's see, what do we have here? Um the rank 8 guy has a Karen support. And he also has I forgot what that unit's called, but she does like explosion damage, which isn't too big of a deal. I think rank 8 would be an easier win. Yeah, I think I think I'll probably challenge rank 8. Uh, rank 6 has a Hibiki. Hibiki's scary, but uh Hibiki doesn't do super effective damage against Asuna and uh Yori, so I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna challenge the rank 6 person and hopefully no 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 me. Um and this should showcase how uh Hasuna's pretty okay against Hibiki. She doesn't just get one shot at like Ari would or a lot of other units. So we'll just go with this and hopefully, I don't know. I'm trying to guess where Tsubaki will be. We'll just go with this. Hopefully we know where the Tsubaki is. The question is always, where is the Tsubaki? Um, it, it looks like it's on the far side actually. So not targeting it. He does have a Nonomi though. I'm not going to be able to beat this because Nonomi is just going to one-shot the Haruna and Yori. Uh, Nonomi on defense is a crazy good PvP unit because on offense people tend to use Haruna because you need to counter the Tsubaki. So that's why Nonomi is just so good on PvP defense. Um, I'll probably challenge this guy with one more ticket, but I don't think I can beat this team. So yeah, cutting the video here. Okay, so I did lose to that guy again. I'll spend my last ticket on the Hina team. 
hopefully we get no Nonomi, because Nonomi does just counter this team. Um, to deal with Nonomi, you really would need an Aru, or maybe a Hibiki, which I have neither of. Okay, so this team looks beatable. So we're going to get the Haruna ult here second. So Haruna ult will one-shot the Tsubaki, so Tsubaki can't emergency heal. So there it goes, it one-taps her, and now we should be able to snowball that kill to win the battle. It looks like we're focusing the... The Hina. Okay, it looks like Yori should be able to kill the Hina. Nice. Aruna's dead, but she she did her job. And now it's all about just Yori cleaning up. Uh we'll get another get another uh, Suzuku ult here. And with the Suzuku accuracy increase, we should be able to burst down this last tank. It may take a while, because my evasion tanks are pretty strong in the PvP. As of now. Okay, we're gonna have to wait for another Yori ult here, my. And that should be it. Uh, another heal. <laughs> okay, gonna have to wait again. And there it is. Awesome, so yeah, I'm out of PvP tickets, but I think that's that's good gameplay for the Haruna team I have, and Okay, that will conclude today's unit overview. Uh, my closing verdict on Haruna is I just think she's the best DPS unit in the game as of now, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. Just her role as a backline mystic damage dealer with the highest accuracy in the game and highest single target, it's, it's just not going to be replaced anytime. So if you have the gems and if you like her design, I definitely recommend trying to get her on the spanner. Alright, well that'll be it for this one, and I'll see everyone in the next. Bye.